All right, TM Nation, today we have another addition to the awesome mid-sized Bluetooth speaker category. This is the Dolphin LX80. I've had mine for just about two weeks now and it performs just about as well as my Dolphin Stingray speaker, but this one adds party lights. As for the spec highlights, for the retail price of $79.99, it's packing Bluetooth 5.0, 40 watts worth of power, and it also has a built-in 3600 milliamp hour battery that you can use as a portable power bank to charge external devices. As for what you'll get inside of the box with the LX80, you get everything you would need to get it up and running to include a user manual, a USB Type-C cable to charge it up, and you also get a 3.5 millimeter cable that you can plug into the speaker if you want to use it in auxiliary mode. Moving on to the design of the speaker, I have to say that I do like the way it looks the lights in the front do make it stand out but you do have the option to turn them off if you want to all of your playback controls are easily accessible on the top of the speaker and in the front there are also LED indicator lights to show you how much charge is left on the battery besides that you do have the handle on the top that you can use to pick up the speaker and transport it easily and overall I do like the way that this speaker looks a little bit more than what you'll get with the stingray and this is because the speakers and drivers are hidden with the stingray on the LX80 though you can see the woofers pushing in and out when you crank it up other than that like I said in the intro you can plug a USB cable into the back of the speaker and use it as a portable power bank which can be a life-saving feature if you're out at the beach or the park or something of that nature and you see that your phone or device is getting low on battery you can simply plug the cable into it and you'll be all set but one thing that you want to remember is that the 3600 milliamp hours controls both the speaker and the portable power bank so if you use this feature it will have an impact on the amount of battery that you get with the speaker because they all pull from the same source for the battery life specs this speaker will give you about three or so hours at max volume which is significantly less than what you'll get with the stingray the stingray offers you about 40 hours of use on a single charge but you have to remember the LX80 is the cheapest out of the two and the battery is less than half the size of what you'll get with the Stingray as that one has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. As for water resistance, the LX80 carries an IPX5 certification and this will do just fine against splashes of water. This being the case, if you want to take it out to the beach or the pool with you, it'll be okay just as long as you don't completely submerge it. But as always, I did do my water test by spraying water all around the speaker just to see how it would react while being wet. Let's take a look at what happened. Connection has also been stable for me so far using both my iPhone 13 Pro and my Galaxy Z Flip 3 everything seemed to be pretty synced up. I have watched quite a few YouTube videos and some movies through the Amazon Prime app and I haven't experienced any noticeable lag. YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Tech Mo. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. I'm not gonna lie, guys. If you're looking to spend $30 or less on a pair of Skull Candy earbuds, it can be extremely hard to pick the right pair for you, especially the way that they're priced. Right now, you have the Jib Trues, which retail for about 30 bucks. Followed by that, you have the Dime earbuds, which retail for about 25. And even though the Spoke earbuds retail for about 40, bucks you can find these pretty much anywhere online 425 as well and i really don't know what's going on with the spoke earbuds in terms of their availability i can tell you that i've been to my local walmart best buy and target probably a hundred times and these are never on the shelf it's also important to note that you do have the ability to pair two of the LX80s to one another wirelessly. Once you pair one of the speakers to your device and you power the other one up, all that you have to do is hold down the wave sync button on either speaker and they'll connect automatically. Now at this moment, I do not own two LX80 speakers to try this out, but I can tell you that it works well on all of my other Dolphin speakers. The process is super simple and once you do it once, you should be all set. 
Now, as far as the sound quality, the LX80 is not a slouch by any means. It is packing a little less power than the Stingray, but it can still fill up a medium-sized room with sound with no issues. And I am also impressed with the overall sound quality that you get with this speaker. I can hear most of those background instruments and vocals pretty clearly. It also provides a respectable amount of bass at the same time, but it is not overpowering by any means. The LX80 also does come with two different EQ modes and to be honest they sound kind of similar. To my ears it seems like the sound that you get in EQ2 is a little bit more bass heavy but I did take samples for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. <laughs> also have the ability to take and make voice calls with the speaker and the call quality is okay. It's not going to be crystal clear, but it'll get the job done. I have made a couple of voice calls with the speaker and depending on where you're speaking from, you can sound a little bit tinny and airy. But so that you guys can have an idea of how well the speaker performs for voice calls, let's check out a sample. Okay guys, so right now I have the speaker paired to my iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphone on the speaker. Now I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this audio, and I'm just gonna turn it around to see if that impacts the way that this speaker picks up my voice. But again, like I said, I'm not gonna edit this audio, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how this speaker will perform during voice call. So overall guys, I think that the LX80 is a solid all around portable Bluetooth speaker and at $79.99, I think it'll be more than adequate for most people. Now I can see where some people will be concerned with the battery life being on the shorter side at around three hours. And if you fall in this category, the Stingray is certainly a great choice at only 10 bucks more. Like I said, this speaker is gonna give you 40 hours worth of use. And not only that, the Stingray is also packing 10 more watts worth of power. Power. Other than the battery life, I have to say that the LX80 performs well and it's comparable to my Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom. The Motion Boom is going to give you way more battery life on a single charge at up to 24, but you have to remember the LX80 does have your party lights and it's also $30 cheaper than the Motion Boom, so if you can deal with the battery life, I really think that the LX80 provides you some nice bang for the buck. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.